is the Wise Breaker Warframe, and today we're going to talk about the Phage. And uh, this is a weapon that shoots laser beams, and seven of them. And, uh, well, it is great. They also focus in one big, great beam. So, let's check it out. Look at that. We had that se those seven beams. They all are, are beaming one. And uh, there we go. We killed them. We killed them dead. So we have a build, a lot of critical chance and multiplier. Also, we have almost 70% status chance. Don't have a lot of damage, but more than enough to kill a lot of bastards. And we have hunter munitions equipped, and blunder boss, and uh, well, you can see it all. So here we go, big bastard. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Don't matter, because he's uh, almost dead already. Look at this. If you uh, put those beams together, you deal more damage. So, that is what I'm doing right here. So again, we have seven beams. They spread out. Deals damage, but when they all together, if you hold down your fire button, it deals the most damage. And, uh, well, those beams go pretty far as well, as you can see, which makes killing very easy. Look at that. Just a straight beam. Uh... Accurate as hell, because, well, it is a beam, so, uh, yeah, don't have a lot of recoil, and uh, there we go, just walking around here, you can just hold down your fire button, just walk around the mission, have yourself some killing spree fun, that is what I'm doing here right now, so we have magnetic and uh, viral damage on this, uh, on this page right now, that is why it's performing so well. At least I think so. And uh, yeah, I'm, I really like this weapon. So we have a second build. This time it is corrosive damage. And uh, we switched it up a little bit. We have less critical chance. The, the, the hunter munition is gone. And uh, we have vigilante armaments. For the extra multi shots, and the rest is uh, well, we have laser sight, so when we deal a headshot, we get some extra critical chance, and we have shrapnel shot, so uh, on kills, we have extra critical damage, and uh, that is great because, as I said, this weapon is accurate, so headshot won't be a problem. Look at this, so laser sight is immediately activated, but as we can see, it is. It takes some time to uh, get that uh, damage meter up, and there we go. There we go. So, big groups. How do we do it? Uh, well, as you can see, no problem. Look at that. Here we go. You are dead. You are dead. Your friend is dead. Your cousin, also dead. And, uh, yeah, now I'm gone. I'm walking away. So, as you can see... With these mods equipped, it might even get easier in some cases. Look at that. Those headshots are, uh, are really something. I love those uh, sounds of heads popping off because of this weapon. And as I said, the accuracy is amazing. It works. So, another build. This time with a lot of critical chance. And, uh, well, it is still viral and corrosive. So we done away with the, the, the laser sight and the shrapnel shot. And hunter munition is back. So uh, when, we, uh, when we do a critical hit, we deal slash damage over time. So let, let's try this one out. Another big bastard trying to kill me. But there... Oh, oh no. This takes way too much time now. Look at this. No, no, I don't like this. So we, we went back. We took our uh, a different build, the, 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 the first Corrosa build. And uh, we, we went on a mission to, to test it out. Because that's what you do in this game. You, you test your weapon out. You think, well, that's, that's good enough. And you go on a mission, killing bastards. So here we are. And uh, as you can see... A lot of bastards are being killed. So, I think, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, I know I am. I know I am. You have to be confident in, in life. And, 
when I see so much, so many bastards die in front of me, I can't feel uh, but, but calm. Because, well, killing a lot of bastards makes you feel tough. Maybe, maybe it isn't right, but I may, it makes you feel tough. And the toughness will give you confidence. All right, so uh, we had a nice uh, lesson there. Let's continue with the game. Killing bastards. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we have another build. This time, uh, again, with a lot of critical chance. So no more hunter munition, just critical chance. The shrapnel shot is, uh, is, uh, is back for the extra critical damage after a kill. So let's try this one out, and I hope this one will work. So, a big bastard is trying to, to, to shoot me dead. And I'm shooting it in the head. And we can see that the shrapnel shot is not activated because I didn't kill a bastard before, before this fight. So we have to think about that. So we went to another mission. And there are a lot of bastards here that want to die. Look at this. So the first one goes a little bit slower and then suddenly everybody just dies in front of you. So this build is pretty good. So we need the, the critical chance and the shrapnel shot to give it some extra boost, some extra critical damage. And then there are no more troubles. So while we have this, uh, this game on lock, let's talk about the pros and cons. First of all, this weapon has a high critical chance and a pretty good high status chance. Uh, it is very, very accurate as I said before. And it has a pretty good ammo efficiency. And it also has an innate half a meter of a punch through. And that is great when your beam is out. Just walk through a mission and you go through enemies. Which is pretty great. You can also choose to wa walk around with those seven beams out in instead of crossing the beams. But then you'll be a crazy dude. So just, just put them together, right? This is the reverse Ghostbusters. Cross the streams. Excuse me, Egon. You said crossing the streams was bad. Right? Some disadvantages are that this weapon it doesn't have a lot of damage, so uh, you have to be uh, creative to make this weapon work. Also, to get the full experience, you have to put those beams together. So, uh, yeah, that is might be a disadvantage sometimes when you want to do it fast. And there is a limited range of 25 meters. But, uh, well, I don't see that as a big problem. But for some it might. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The page. Love this weapon. Was one of my first. And uh, is still one of the great. And I hope you enjoyed. Check me out on all my other videos. Hope to see you there. Until then. Adiós.